After more than 25 years of civil war, a new era of politics has dawned in Sri Lanka's north. The Tamil National Alliance has won the majority of seats in the region's first provincial election. People have spoken democratically and uh, it is up to the government to, to take stock of the matter because after all in democracy, if the government is interested in democracy, it is the people's will that really matters. It was a long time coming, but finally, people seized the opportunity to have their voices heard. They voted for political stability, opportunities for their children, and the regeneration of their communities. I voted in this election. The national government has done good things like development. The conflict is over, and we want to live in peace and harmony. We are very happy. This process is over. We are looking forward to peaceful times. Despite concerns that fear and memories of the area's violent past would keep Tamil voters away from polling booths, the numbers told a different story. So the people are interesting uh, to cast their vote and they are now a little bit getting uh, confident about uh, democracy. So this is very good and uh, they all participate and this 63 percentage, around 273 percentage of, uh, sorry, 273,000 voters cast their vote. This ballot represents a significant moment in Sri Lanka's political history. Four years ago, the military defeated the Tamil Tigers in this area. They fought for a separate state for more than 25 years. During that time, tens of thousands of people were killed and swathes of the country's north and northeastern areas were destroyed. This election could signal the start of a new chapter in this province's complex history. What many people here are hoping for is that the political will and optimism that candidates displayed during their campaigns continues during their time in office. Nidhi Dat Al Jazeera, Jaffna.